fake it till you make it. My name is Van der Puchert, and this is Finding Frequency. So let's fire up the old beast. Yes, it's the first time I've been able to get on my motorcycle and actually have it fire up. You see the battery died a couple of months ago during winter and uh, I had to get it sorted out. And now I get to take the beast to town. But I'm going there with a mission. I have to get the mess that is on top of my head sorted out. I haven't been able to visit the barber since this whole mess started. But also, the problem is, is that it leaves me with a whole bunch of questions. How do I approach this whole barbershop experience? How do I get into this barbershop and not make my barber feel uncomfortable? How do I act safely? What do I do? Well, I'm going to have to fake it until I make it. Hey, my name is Bart Jurkowski. I'm an improviser. I help companies, leaders, and teams act more efficient in complicated VUCA world through applied improv workshops. I'm from Warsaw. It's in Europe. Still. Listen, Bart, let's, let's not complicate things here. I'm dealing with a pandemic already. Can we just stay in the European Union for a little while longer, please? Um, I met Werner Puchert when I uh, joined Deloitte Digital with the Uslab team and he was my team's leader and he also showed me uh, what the corporation is all about and how to survive in that environment successfully. This pandemic experience showed me how my improvisational skills uh, work in real life situations because we all had to cope with a great amount of changes and uncertainty. Uh, and I have to admit that that improv based approach helped me a lot during that time to remain calm and to act efficiently without stressing so much about what's going to happen. And also I started to write more, which is a really great mind sharpening activity. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I learned also how to cook really good tuna steaks during that time. Thanks for sharing that, Bart. And I must admit that I prefer the whole improv approach above the whole idea of fake it till you make it. Now, sometimes in the corporate world, they encourage you to fake it till you make it because that's the brave approach to doing business. And there's some truth behind it because you have to be confident in what you're doing and then move forward. However, in the world of improv, I really appreciate the idea of actually looking around you and observing and waiting for cues from other people. And you see, that's the magic of improv. When you get a cue from someone else and you act on it, together you build something new. So, when I went to town today, I was feeling a little bit uncertain. I walked into the barber and I waited for a cue. The barber gave me the cue and I acted on that and I now observed what his reaction was. And I think for that, improv is brilliant. We're all going into a whole space that's completely new for us. So the only thing we can do and should do, rather than faking it, let's observe what the people are doing around us and then react to that. And also react in a way that is constructive. Because together, we really can make some magic. Thanks for listening.